So real estate is essentially what normally happens is two parties come to a, a title company and you know they exchange money for property, right? So cryptocurrency is the exact same thing, right? They're exchanging this money in the form of like, let's pretend we're using um, uh, Bitcoin. Uh, you, they're, ex they're exchanging that Bitcoin for the property. Now, the problem is it's very scary because you need title companies who are able to accept and exchange the, the cryptocurrency like it was cash. Makes sense? It's, it's essential. Think about a title company trying to accept a Visa card for, <laughs> for cash. Right. right. It's kind of the same principle. Not all title companies are willing to do that risk because just, they just don't know about it. However – what I think we're going to see in the future in real estate is a lot more people are starting to just use digital currency because just cash and checks are mostly inefficient. Think about it. When you go to Starbucks and you buy a cup of coffee with your card, that's using digital currency. Yeah. But they, they want to scale it really high to where you're going to be doing real estate. And the, one of the reasons why they want to do it in real estate is – they want to um, be, you know how I said the debit and credit system, like a way to track it? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fraud that happens in real estate. And in theory, if you did it on the blockchain, it would be extremely difficult for the fraud to be perpetrated. Now, that's the good stuff. That's the great, amazing theory stuff. Um, when you and I talked, I said, hey, man, something doesn't feel right, right? So here, let's talk about some of the bad things about cryptocurrency. So cryptocurrency is based off of something called like tokens. Tokens is like, do you remember going to like a video game arcade? Yes, when you were absolutely. Younger? Yes. Remember you put a $5 bill and you get all these tokens? Yes. It's the same thing. And those tokens are very valuable when you're in that arcade, right? get to use them mm -hmm. on games. But when you leave that arcade, what are those tokens really worth? They're, they're worth nothing. Nothing, right? So the scary thing about accepting tokens is you need to make sure that you're working with a token that is transferable into greenbacks, right? If some guy or gal out of their basement just created some tokens, we don't know if that's actually substantiated with value. So mm -hmm. that's, the, that's one of the things you need to be fearful of. If someone says, if I were you, in, if I were in your shoes as a real estate agent, I would say, look, if you got cryptocurrency, exchange it, right? Fine, fine, we'll do a cryptocurrency transaction. 30 seconds before you do your wire, go on your Coinbase platform, go to your wallet, and trade the, now, don't do it 30 seconds before because, you know, you, there, there's, like, time for wires and all that stuff. Two days uh -huh. before, change your Bitcoin into, into cash, into, you know, U.S. dollars and do the exchange. Because right now, there's just not enough safeguards. There, the infrastructure isn't prepared to do direct exchanges with, you know, cryptocurrency. So right now, ask them to do, you know, to trade right beforehand, right, because the title companies are just not ready. If you remember, one of the things that made me suspicious about your situation is they said those tokens weren't ready to be traded, right? And it made me a little nervous because I was like, hmm, that means your platform's not up. That means your tokens are probably worthless. Uh -huh. Do you remember all that? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, in my scenario, you know, they were interested in the winery, but they didn't want to convert their, their tokens to greenbacks immediately. But basically, it was almost like a... Uh, 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 IPO, ICO, right? An initial In IPO, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, exactly. That's a good way to put it. IPO is a good way. Well, who knows if that thing's actually worth anything? So that's the right. that's the principle. So um, that's basically what it is. I, I do think we're headed in that direction as far as like, I, I think cash is going to become less and less used. You know, you're seeing in the news people using, you know, digital currency all the time now. But I, just, I don't think we're not there right now, but it's not far away.